Right boys, it is DNA time. Today we are taking on two big games. Liverpool at home in the league, first v second, and also a tricky trip to Tottenham Hotspur. Um, we're going to talk rebuilds. We're going to look at the squad itself now and have a real dive in and see what we need to start phasing out of the squad. Remember, like in real life, isn't it reported like 15, 16 Manchester United players are unhappy. So we're going to go through them one by one today and put a squad together or a look at which players we're going to move on ahead of season two. And I think that'll give you guys down in the comments an opportunity to really get involved and let me know which players fit our DNA, which players we should bring in in certain positions. I may even have the old spreadsheet out for us today. All right, boys, welcome to episode number three of DNA. What I would like to do before we get into it, first of all, shout out to the patrons that have flashed up on screen. Absolute legends. I would, all, I would also like you to smash a like on today's video and definitely get in the comments. Comments is really good on this one. People suggesting players. I am looking. We are going to leave certain things to Ralph to start. He's going to suggest players first and then we'll dive in and have a look at a few as the season goes on. But we're coming up to December. Sorry, we're coming up to January. Um, we need to maybe start looking at things we can do. Potentially, I'm only going to look at maybe bringing a superstar in, my Flavovic, potentially. I think the rest of the squad I'm going to let, her play, let play out. We may receive offers for certain players, players that we're going to let go. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the squad. We're going to have a look at the tactic itself, the formations that we're playing and the players that we've got in each position. So the best way that I normally do this is that if we head to, head to the squad page and then we're going on squad depth. Okay, so the goalkeeper area is, for me is a little bit of a concern. For some reason, it's only rating David De Gea as a, two, a, a three star. So I think potentially, yes, we need to do another goalkeeper. Now, what do we do with Henderson? Henderson's attitude and not being happy. I think he's good in the game as a backup. I don't think he's an absolute world beater. Um, so I think potentially there's going to be room, maybe not this summer, um, but I think down the line, we need to be looking at potentially getting a new young goalkeeper in. Maybe try and get someone who's very young. Maybe the under age of 20, someone who can potentially send out on loan or something like that. Um, so we've got David De Gea for now. He's had, we've had no problems with him. Dean Henderson as an adequate number two. Right back is interesting. I think we need to do work in here. Man United definitely need to do work in here in real life. Aaron Wan-Bissaka is okay in the game. But what I want him to be is no more than our sort of like our backup choice. Centre halves, I think we're okay with them now. Varane, Maguire, Bailly. I do like Bailly in the game and Lindelof, so we're going to ignore that for now. Luke Shaw, okay. I want a new starting left back. I don't want Luke Shaw to be my strongest left back. Um, Alex Tellez will be definitely a player that we look to move on, I think, in the summer. He will move on. We're going to keep Diogo a lot just because he can do both sides. So I have two right backs, two left backs, and then a backup central midfield, uh, uh, and then Delot, who can do both sides. In the middle midfield, definitely needs work because we're not having Bruno Fernandes in here. Paul Pogba likely to leave. This area needs a good strengthening of maybe four players in the summer. We're going to look at moving on Fred. We're going to look at moving on Donny van der Beek, um, Jesse Lingard, Matic, Mata. All players that are going to potentially move on just to create a little bit of space of players like Hannibal to come through. So midfield does need a lot of work. On the left-hand side, we're okay. I don't think we're going to do much in these areas. Ronaldo can do a job out there. We'll probably play Fernandez, Rashford, Sancho. Pogba can play out there if he stays as well. Lingard, but he'll probably go. Um, we've got youngsters as well like Diallo. So the wide areas we're probably going to leave for now. It's the right side, if anything, but then we have got Mason Greenwood. Um, so we're going to probably ignore the two the two wider areas, the two tens. We've also got players that can, can move into these central areas if we go with a narrow formation. And then up front, I do think it needs a little bit of work. Cristiano is going to be okay for another season. Remember, we're going to let Cavani go at the end of the season. He is 34, wanted by Inter. We've got Rash. I want Rashford and Greenwood to be kind of my backups. I want them to stay just because they're trained at the club. Um, kind of fits with how we want to progress our own youth players as well. So we definitely need to strengthen. Obviously, Martial's going. Diallo is not at the level yet. More of a wide player. I do want to give players like this more game time though. And players like Anthony Nielanga, who may who's come through in real life in the last few weeks since Ralph Ranjic's taken over. Someone who we may use a little bit more. And then obviously down in the 
other age groups, I do like I do like Joe Hugel, and I think he could be an absolute handful. So next year, I want him to be up here where Anthony Martial is. So we do need to trim the fat a little bit. I do want to bring in a striker. I think next season, Flavovic and Ronaldo up front looks good, or an Ireland, or we'll just we'll literally just have to see what's available. But I think the problem with Manchester United at the moment, and I think everyone kind of agrees, is that the squad is too heavy. The squad is too heavy in terms of players that are expecting to play. Um, they've got four senior goalkeepers. I think Tom Heaton is Tom Heaton's got a two-year deal anyway. David De Gea has got two years left on his deal, you know. So I think we look at just running down his contract over the next couple of seasons and have by the start of 2023-24 season, we have a new number one goalkeeper, I think. But the problem is players like Phil Jones, who's wanted his contract, if we go to my DNA page, Phil Jones. He's got a deal for another two years. So we're going to look at really trying to move him on somehow. The problem is he's on a lot of money and he's not at the level where big clubs will want to buy him. Harry Maguire is fine for now. But then we've got players like Mengi. Want to give him a little bit of more game time. He's only 19 years old. So he's people like Phil Jones are kind of in the way a little bit. So we need to move players like him on. I think Lindelof may be a player, you know, that we, we sell on at the age of 27. Big money. Coming in, he's okay. he's okay. He lacks what I like in a central defender in terms of pace, power and aggression. So we may, with big clubs lurking around Victor, we may let him go. I think if that's the case, then we then need to re-strengthen in a centre-half area. Juan Basaka, we spoke about, he can be our backup. He's wanted by Real Madrid, interestingly. Um, Scott McTominay, I have no interest in selling him. I do want him to be sort of like our fourth choice centre midfielder, someone who's going to be a backup for us, can do both roles in the number eight or six positions. Tellers we spoke about will go in the summer. Juventus, that'll be fine. We can get... I'm just not a fan of him. I think his pace and stamina are OK. He's not played well for me. I do think Man United down the road need to get a better left back. It's not best in class kind of area there at the moment with Luke Shaw struggling. Luke Shaw will keep for now. He's not great in the game, but I think his physicals, once we get him fit, I think maybe a decent option for us. The lot will stay. Fred, Matic, Van der Beek will all go. Jesse needs to go. We're not going to offer him a new deal. I think we need to try and keep the save a little bit realistic. Um, he's only played, he's playing quite well for me, but I think it's time for Jesse to potentially move on. Off the ball, 17 though. Work rate, 17. Stamina, 17. Determination, 14. He fits the bill. He fits our DNA quite well, but I do think it's time for Jesse to potentially move on at the age of 28 as well. Does stop some of these youngsters playing. And then, Bogba, what's going to happen with him? Has his form improved over the last few weeks, boys? Not really. 6.93. Mason Greenwood has come into a nice little bit of form for us as well. Scoring, starting to score a few goals. Seven goals for him now. We have had um, one matter as well in the squad who's barely played. So he will go. Rashford is back up. We need to get Anthony Martial out the door. Cavani will leave, leave as well. We just need to trim the squad. I think the idea when people are talking about unrest at Old Trafford in the... And, 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 in an in, in an and in and around the club. I think it's because there's too many senior players. I want this trimmed so then we can give Alanga, um, Hannibal, Diallo, uh, Mengi and Hugel more game time next season. Um, so yeah, you will see a smaller squad, I think, next season. Right, it is first v second. We are playing Liverpool. Three points behind them. We are still undefeated. Our run has been pretty good. Apart from... Um, we needed to beat Olympiacos to qualify for the next, to guarantee as a place in the next round of the Champions League. We lost 2-0 with a strong team against a terrible Olympiacos side, which was a little bit of a worry. However, Sporting did us a job and uh, beat Dynamo Kiev in Kiev, luckily. So it was, it was a bit touch and go, but we've qualified for the next round of the Champions League. Have we been given a team yet? I don't think it's been drawn yet. No, it's not been drawn yet. It's getting drawn this week, so in today's episode, we'll find out who we're playing. So we'll definitely have a look at that. Right, there is the fixtures. The form has, as I said, been pretty good. Since the sporting defeat, we've, we've gone pretty much undefeated until uh, the Olympiacos game. Uh, we've got a Carabao in there as well. Yeah, Birmingham Carabao. Uh, so we are in the quarterfinal away at Arsenal. I would like to win trophies this season. Not really bothered which trophies. Well, I am bothered about which trophies, but if we could pick up a Carabao, probably play a strong team. There we've got Norwich, Arsenal and Watford in those three games. So we'll do a little bit of rotation to get us through a tricky, not a tricky Christmas, I think. I think Christmas has been quite nice to us there. Sunday, Tuesday, we're going to have to do rotation anyway. So it makes sense to get that in, especially now when we've got Liverpool and Tottenham today. 
So here is my little spreadsheet that I have done for you, just so you can see. So I do think, as you can see, areas we need to strengthen. First choice right back. We're going to let Lindelof go, so we need another centre-half in. No, that's it. We're going to let Lindelof go, but we're going to leave it as Mengi, Maguire. We have got Transerbi as well, so we're going to leave that for next season. We're going to concentrate on full-backs. Three central midfielders, absolutely huge for us next season. Um, no number 10s, and then one more striker. Highly like will be Flavovic, so get your thoughts down below. Remember, it's got to fit our DNA, stamina, work rate, determination, off the ball. I always forget one. Teamwork. There we go. All right, guys, let me know down in the comments any players that fit those positions. Right back, left back. Ball winning midfielder or a defensive squad, like a defensive midfielder, a box to box midfielder. I want energy in there, middle midfield. We want big, powerful, strong players. Um, and then obviously a striker, but as I said, I am looking at bringing in Flavovic. Right, here we go. Let's pick a team. We have got Ronaldo back, luckily. Obviously, we had a bit of a problem because Edinson Cavani, I messed up, didn't register him for Champions League. So maybe that's why we struggled. And we've had Ronaldo injured. He's not fully fit. He's lacking match fitness, but he's got match sharpness, but he's going to have to go straight in. We're going to go Fernandez and Sancho. Pogba and Matic have been my go to so far. Matic is just struggling. We're going to go with Scott McTominay just to give us a little bit of energy in there. Raphael Varane is injured, so we're going to go Eric Bailly. We're not going to go Lindelof because we are looking at phasing him out. And as you can see, look, the squad is just way too big. We've got name 12 subs there, and then we've got one, two, three. We've just got too many players. When you've got fully fit squads, we've just got too many players in here that are not playing. Right, here we go. So we are undefeated. I would like that run to continue as much as possible. Jürgen has gone with Alisson Pavard, Matip, Van Dijk, Gomez at left back, Fabinho, Curtis Jones and Milner. We could get something in that central midfield, but a strike front three of Salah, Jota and Origi, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Jordan Henderson, Andrew Robertson all on the bench. Right, it's, all, it's at Old Trafford. I don't know if a win today takes us above Liverpool on goal difference, but we definitely don't want a defeat. Right, McTominay is already on a yellow card. That must have been a bad tackle considering we're only three minutes into the game. Fernandez. Luke Shaw, McTominay's going to... Oh, I thought he would have won that because of his height. He's lost out. Curtis Jones, he's running through. We should be OK with this. David De Gea, he is. Comfortable save in the end, but Liverpool looking dangerous on the break. Right, Bailly. McTominay. Sancho. Pogba. Fernandez. lovely touch. We've got an overlap in. Luke Shaw, lovely pass. Nope. Cut out by Virgil van Dijk. Now Liverpool are going to build again. Pavard to Salah. Great tackle by Luke Shaw, but Salah still manages to get it. Origi. We've got a high line, by, line. We've got a high line, boys, but we've won it. Fernandez, Cavani. We've got to play in. We've got to... No, no, no. Sancho was the pass. He was free on that right-hand side. Bit of a basketball game at the moment, boys. Quick turnovers. We're in. We're in. Oh, we are in. Ronaldo pinches it ahead of Van Dijk. Is he going to score? He took it way too wide. And then a block, I think it was probably by Matip then in the end. Fernandez with the corner. Maguire's underneath it, and it's a Liverpool free kick. A couple of half chances for us there, if we've just had better decision-making. Pogba, Luke Shaw, crosses, keepers punched. Wambasaka, Sancho, McTominay, Wambasaka. It's a bit narrow, it's a lovely cross. Fernandez is there, and it's just over the bar. We've made a good start to this game. We're looking dangerous, but Gomez with it down on his left-hand side. Milner, Fabinho, Jones, Milner, Gomez. We could counter here if we can get it. No, Pavard. He's going to be dangerous on this right-hand side. We've took it. We've took it. Well done, Luke Shaw. We've got a break on here. Is Cavani working the channel? He is a little bit. Luke Shaw, Fernandez. It's a lovely pass. Ronaldo is in. And he's put it wide. Oh, Cristiano. It should be 1-0. Because he has been scoring goals for fun this season. 13 in 12. Fernandez. A couple of players are struggling physically. I think because we played on Wednesday night as well in the Champions League. Liverpool have obviously rotated their squad. Salah. Baye just steps in brilliantly. Cavani is going to win the header. He does. Ronaldo's going to get in front of Van Dijk. And this time has fired it in. Get in. 1-0. I think we've deserved that. On the balance of play, we have deserved that. We've hit him on the break. We've done very well at winning the ball. Well done, Eric, by stepping in. A long pass. 
Did Cavani win the header? He did. And then Ronaldo just getting ahead. Who was that? That would have probably been Matip, was it? Or it maybe Van Dijk. And we are one nil up against our biggest rivals. And we are looking good again, boys. In these big games against the big teams, we are looking pretty good. Well, we've gone above them. We're level on points. Chelsea are just behind us as well. So three horse race. Sancho's there. He's missed an absolute sitter. And couldn't put in the rebound. He's just struggling a little bit, is Sancho. Four goals, four assists, 7.11 average rating. He's definitely better now that we're playing where he's starting out wider and then coming in. But misses a lot of chances. Pogba, Maguire, Bailly, McTominay, Ronaldo, Sancho. Oh, he's found Fernandez. Number 10 to number 10, Sancho. Oh, no. He could have put it himself and he went for another pass. We've missed some big chances here. We've got a couple of players that are really struggling. I'm going to say I'm pleased. And we'll just Pogba, uh, Fernandez, and Sancho. I think Sancho, that's a, a bit of a mistake by the uh, skin. He's telling me he's on full green heart and we know he's not. So we'll look at doing some changes probably in about 10 minutes. Right, they've gone all the way back to Alisson, to Gomez. We should be more than one nil up, boys. Gomez has done well. Jota, we're in trouble here. Great tackle, but Curtis Jones of Liverpool under-23s has equalised for Liverpool against the run of play, but that's the, always the danger. We don't take our chances, boys, and then with the quality that they've got, they're bound to create something, and we've got players that are getting a little bit tired. Fernandez, it's going to be a penalty, you know, because that was a blatant push on McTominay. It is a penalty. We've got a chance for pretty much an immediate response. CR7 is stepping up. Puts it in. 2-1 up. I think we're going to do some changes now as well. We're a little bit tired in the middle of midfield. We've got Pogba, Sancho, Fernandez all really struggling. wan is really struggling. So what I'm going to do with wan is we're just going to leave him full back on, on defend. He doesn't need to get forward because we need to stay him on the pitch a little bit more. We're then going to go... We need some in the middle. Let's go Fred. McTominay and Fred in the middle. And then we'll just do... We're going to do Sancho now. And we're going to bring on Jesse Lingard. Too early, I think, to go to a defensive tactic just yet. I couldn't rotate. Ideally, we would have rotated players for this game. But with it being Liverpool, we just couldn't afford to do it. Going to give him a praise. Can we get that third goal? Fred. Maguire. Bailly. Fred. Good football. Ronaldo. Cavani. Fernandez, that's great movement. Oh, Lingard. And that was a big chance, wasn't it? He just overran it. And it went straight to Alison Becker. Is this highlight continuing? It looks like it is, you know. Virgil van Dijk. Gomez. James Milner. Goes long. It's a straight pass over the top. That's a wonderful tackle <laughs> by Harry Maguire. Dear me. Fernandez. Luke Shaw. Fernandez again into Cavani. Oh, it's found Ronaldo brilliantly. Can we seal it? We have done. It's 3-1. Get in. So it does give me the opportunity as well now, boys, to go to our little park, the bus tactic, I think. We'll take Fernandez off. We'll just bring on Marcus Rashford just on that left-hand side. And hopefully we can just see the game out a little bit now with our 4-4-2 low block, two banks of four. And we won't be chasing things as much. Milner, Virgil van Dijk. We've got the better of those two centre-halves today. Salah. Trent's on. Origi. Good tackle, Wamba Saka. What a tackle. Jones, they've still got it, though. Gomez. James Milner. Ooh, dear me, where did that go? Did it hit the post and the keeper saved it? It's gone off for a corner. Alexander-Arnold's whip. Matip was there. It should have been a goal, really. It's a good save from uh, David De Gea. And we've cleared. We're under pressure a little bit at the moment. Wamba Saka. McTominay, Lingard, McTominay, Fred, let's be patient. He's found Cavani in the channel, no. Wasted possession. Right, Liverpool are going to play out from the back again. Fred wins it from Salah, does really well. Luke Shaw into Fred. Rashford goes long, it's cleared. Jones, the goal scorer. Get there, McTominay. Does. Still diving in tackles on a yellow card. Love it. McTominay. Oh, I just need a little bit more height on it. 
Cavani would have been in. Chamberlain, Origi, Salah. Chamberlain. Origi's there. He's put it wide. It was a half chance. It was on the volley. It would have been some goal. And that's just a little focus. See this game out. They've had 14 shots. XG of 1.49. RXG 3.17. Ronaldo is injured. We are going down to 10 men. That's the second injury he has picked up. I should have meditated. Forgot that he's been out for about three weeks. And I've made him play 86 minutes. And he's broke down again. Uh, he did score three goals for us there. So we'll take that. It's going to be difficult. We're going to have to make some changes for the Tottenham game. We're going to have to take a risk, I think. Not ideal. Ronaldo is out for up to five weeks. He's going to miss the Christmas period. Right, let's move on to the Spurs game. We're going to have to make some changes, you know. News Justin, Van der Beek, wanted to chat about more game time. Wanted to go on loan, and I just took that as an opportunity to get him out of the club permanently. I don't want to do loans. We like to get money in. We should, if we... Don't spend much this summer in, in, in the winter. We should have a really good amount of money in the summer. There is our youth intake. Ralph Rignac says we've got some wingers, strikers coming through. Be interested to see what striker we get. If you would like to become one of these regens, um, you need to become a Patreon on the channel. We'll change your name. You get your face in the game as well. Links down in the description if you want to get involved in becoming a regen in the game. Right, Champions League draw time. Seeded teams. Ajax, Juventus, Man City, Salzburg, Barcelona, Milan, uh, Liverpool, Sporting. So there's, we just need to avoid Barca. There's some really nice. In the other half, there's Atleti, Chelsea, Inter, PSG, Dortmund, Bayern, United and Villarreal. Um, so oh, we're first out of the hat. <laughs> Be given Barcelona. Okay. <laughs> Love that. Love that. Uh, Dortmund City, Inter Liverpool, Villarreal, Salzburg, Atleti, Milan, PSG, Ajax, Chelsea Sporting, Bayern, Juventus. Um, yeah, that's a tricky one. We didn't want that. Okay, probably next week's episode. Right, we are playing against Spurs. They've got Stuart Lewis in charge, who I imagine is some kind of caretaker manager. Um, they've signed Nicolas Sewell, which is interesting. We've made a couple of changes. We've brought in uh, Matic and Fred to play in the midfield. Uh, Pogba is injured. Uh, suspended, I think, actually. McTominay, a little bit of a rest. Um, and we've also bring, brought in Mason Greenwood in for the injured Cristiano Ronaldo. Here we go. I, th I think they are going very well. They're down in, like, 14th. But I would just take the... Un keep the let's keep the unbeaten run going. That would be good. That would be good. Right, Fernandez. Can he whip us in front? Bruno. That is wonderful, but it's a wonderful save by Lloris. And it stays nil-nil. Fernandez. Cross. Can we get there? I would love Son. I would love to sign Son. We don't really need an attacking left, really, do we? But yeah, Son is one of the dream signings that I would love to be part of Manchester United. Potential if they don't qualify for Europe, which they are at this rate. Um, potential for us to maybe do something. Fernandez. Shaw. Fred's going to hit it over the bar. Right, Hoiberg with it. They've done nothing yet, Spurs. Good save from De Gea. Comfortable save. Liverpool are ahead, whoever they're playing. I think we've got enough in this game to nick a win. Winks. That's a free header. I think it was Tanganga. David De Gea saves it. We've had three booked already. I'm just going to ask for a little bit more coming up to half-time. Not much in it. It's one of those Christmas games. It's like another midweek game. This would be the Amazon Prime TV games. The midweek to kick off sort of like the Christmas the Christmas period. Winks with a corner. Cross. Maguire heads clear. We've had a decent draw. I think we're playing home to Barnsley in the FA Cup. So once again, that gives us the opportunity to, to rest a few. That always comes after the Christmas period as well, doesn't it? So um, we'll look at playing a few youngsters, a few backup players, just to rest players for a, a few extra days. Tanganga. Cross. Delhi's there. And Delhi Ali has missed an absolute sitter. And we need to wake up after that bright little start we had in the opening 20 minutes. We've not done anything. Here we go, De Gea to Bailly. Into Matic. Fred. Sancho's tackled, but Greenwood's got it. Wambasaka. Nope, we're not getting that, are we? Regulon. Winks. Kane. Get there, Son. Our man Sonny's in. Is he going to punish us? No, that is horrendous. And we got lucky. Greenwood's had a bit of a stinker. 
So we're going to take him off. First sub, we're going to bring on Marcus Rashford up there. We're going to take Fernandez off as well. He's struggling a little bit. Who can we bring on that left-hand side? It's going to have to be Jesse Lingard again, you know. Maybe there's a deal to be done, depending on how much money we get and what goes on. Maybe there is a deal to be done for this left-hand side. And bring in another fantastic wide player in. My only concern is that we get too many players that are unhappy. We want Sancho and Fernandez to be our two to our two tens. And then people like Rashford, I suppose. Maybe we maybe just need to push forward at a youngster a little bit. Or maybe even keep Paul Pogba and keep him out on this left hand side. I've not used him on this left hand side yet. Something that I think we'll do towards the end of the season. Rashford is in, and Rashford's put it wide just to see if Paul Pogba can do it. Right, one more change. Sancho's struggling. So we're going to bring on Hannibal and we'll swap Hannibal and Jesse round. Right, coming into the last 15 minutes, Tanganga and Dombele. It's a lovely pass to Son. We're in trouble again. Son's got another chance and once again, he has smashed it. <laughs> oh, it's maybe a corner. Is it a corner? We'll give David De Gea some credit for that. That was just poor match engine graphics work. Right, Son with a corner. Header. Cavani's there to head it clear. We do miss Ronaldo. We do miss Ronaldo when he's not there. Son's got a chance here. We've got plenty of his offside. Whew. Okay. Going to encourage last 10 minutes. It could go either way, this. It's not been a great game, but a clean sheet away from home. Liverpool are smashing Norwich. Hoiberg, Tanganga. Shaw's going to get sent off in the 89th minute. Of course he is. Off he goes. Brilliant. Okay. We've only got a few minutes. Jesse can play midfield. Fred. Rashford, Cavani. See it out for us, boys. Last four minutes. We're going to get a point. Yes. Decent match. We'll take that. Tottenham Hotspur away. Even though they're down in sort of like mid-table, we can get through it. We're not going to win, especially this time of year over Christmas. There's so many players that are unfit. We will take. All right, that's it for today, boys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, as I said, put down in the comments, players, players, players. We'll speak to Ralph in next week's episode to see what he says for the positions that we're looking at. Get your suggestions in. We'll have a good chat about which players fit the bill. We need to be thinking long-term as well. Um, central midfielders, left-backs, right-backs, centre-forward, potentially an, an attacking player as well. Let me know down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Have a good week. See you later.